Okay, now notice that we've added a shield with the letter A to the image. This tall man is lucky he has the shield because without it, he would have been shocked by Merlin's magic. The shield with the letter A on it is our symbol for protein A. This is a virulence factor produced by Staph aureus that binds to the FC region of IgG and prevents opsonization and phagocytosis. The shield seems like a fitting symbol for this idea because shields are used to block an attack, just like protein A is used to block the host's immune system from destroying the organism. So again, the shield with the letter A on it for protein A prevents opsonization and phagocytosis. If you look closely at the dragon's nose, you can see that we've shown fire coming out of it. We've done this to draw your attention to the nose and ultimately to help you remember that Stephareus colonizes the nose. So fire coming out of the dragon's nose for colonizes the nares. Next, notice that we've added this guy right here who appears to have been wounded throughout the excitement. Let's zoom up so you can see it a bit better. As you can see, that's quite a bit of blood. And if you look closely, you can see that the blood appears kind of thick and clumpy. There's also a thick patch of dried blood on his shirt. So in other words, it's coagulated blood. The coagulated blood here should help you remember that Stephareus is coagulase positive. This is a figure showing a coagulase tube test. In this test, colonies of the organism of interest are placed inside of a tube containing plasma. Because the plasma contains clotting factors, including fibrinogen, if the coagulase enzyme is present, then it will convert fibrinogen to fibrin, which is responsible for clot formation. Therefore, an organism that is coagulase positive will cause the plasma to clot, resulting in a thick solution, which you can see in the image right here. Okay, now we're going to discuss the clinical features of Staph aureus, and we'll start with the toxin-mediated diseases. Notice that we've included this guy on fire. Apparently, he was a bit too close to the dragon and went up in flames. The fire is scalding his skin, which should help you remember scalded skin syndrome. In this syndrome, an exfoliative toxin, which is a protease, causes the skin to fall off. So, scalded guy on fire for scalded skin syndrome. Now we've added a guy vomiting to the image. He's obviously a bit overwhelmed by this whole situation, which is understandable. A dragon is trying to destroy him with fire. Anyways, we've included this guy to help you remember another toxin-mediated disease, which is rapid onset food poisoning. This occurs due to ingestion of a preformed heat-stable toxin, which is also known as enterotoxin. The toxin has a short incubation period of about two to six hours, after which the individual will develop non-bloody diarrhea and emesis. So guy vomiting for rapid onset food poisoning. 